Robbie and Johnny. <laughs> that rhymes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, all right, yeah. You know what the deal is, Leo Kid at one youngster with another respond react. This time, I'm gonna be talking about the all new Ghost Rider. Um, I got both collected editions, uh, volumes one and two, uh, Engines of Vengeance and um, Legend. So uh, this will be covering all of those issues from one to, I believe 12, and uh, just talking about how I felt, how dope it was, and you know, everything in between. So let's go on and get started. Um, First, All New Ghost Rider is a newer take on the character um, from a younger man named Robbie Reyes who lives in East LA um, and he actually drives a uh, muscle car. So uh, I'm going to get into the art first, I guess. Uh, You know, from all of the creators, you got, you know, Felipe Smith, Trav Moore, you got um, Damian Scott. Chris Anka, there's a lot of, a lot of people that just, you know, killed it on the pencils, um, also, um, like, uh, speaking of that, the coloring style and the line work is very, very distinct, and, um, I love it because it's so, so free and fluid, um, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, it really, really stood out to me as something that I wanted to pick up because I've been a fan of, uh, Felipe Smith for, like, so long. Um, you know, like Peepo Chew and um, uh, MBQ and stuff like that. So uh, he's really, really dope and a really nice guy, man, to boot. So uh, I saw that I definitely wanted to support him and um, I ended up loving the story. Now, the story um, really covers him and his um, younger brother's relationship, which touches me um, in, in a piece of nostalgia and a piece of like, you know, my childhood because I'm the oldest brother. And, you know, I had to kind of stick around and stick up for my little brother a lot. So um, you get this story that's really, really personal and, and intimate um, about this older brother in Robbie Reyes that really, really wants to just take care of his younger brother, be there for his younger brother, because he's all that his younger brother has. And during this time, um, you know, he has to make all the money. He has to still go to school. He has to make sure his brother gets, you know, uh, you know, psychiatric care or, or like, you know, um, uh, what is it like, uh, like, you know, s- special, you know, physical therapy and stuff like that. And it's just, uh, it's really touching and moving to see, you know, how the story really builds on who Robbie Reyes is now during this time, uh, he does, you know, of course he gets in a life threatening injury and he has to, you know, uh, you know, kind of sell his soul or whatever. He makes this deal with this, uh, satanic force, uh, Eli Morrow and, um, Eli Morrow, he doesn't know is, you know, he's evil at first, but of course we find out he is. And the cool thing about this storyline is that it shows how he goes from being someone who's curious about who this powerful force is to knowing who he is and thinking that he can you know live with it or control it and then on to being controlled by Eli and then on to uh kind of like controlling him or being being in the driver's seat um as far as the relationship with him and the you know demonic forces concerned now there's some highlights in this joint that are really really dope and one of the highlights is um the the action scenes the action scenes are very frenetic and very uh just um you know filled with energy uh i really really like the uh like the design of the all new ghost rider and how they use him and you know the chains are whipping all around and stuff and they really really make the movement come forward and come across very well on the page. Um, Somewhere within the second volume, uh, where um, Eli is starting to take over Robbie Reyes' body and it's more of a a full-on possession, you get to see Johnny Blaze come into play and, you know, kind of being almost like a mentor-type role. And it's really, really sick to not only see them um, head-to-head, but also see them back to back. Um, it's really, really cool to see them fight together. Um, and I won't try to get, I'll try not to give away too much, but they do fight each other. 
um, because Eli Eli um, uh, Morrow, I believe, is you know of course a evil force that does need to be put in check. But at the same time, um, there's no way that he can kind of get free of that force, and Johnny Blaze understands that. Um, so he kind of takes Robbie Reyes under his under his wing, and just seeing them together. Um, kind of like relating to each other about their powers, about, you know, what their responsibility is and how they have to keep their, you know, their powers in control and how uh, Johnny Blaze gets that across to him and how you see him work that into his daily life is just amazing. Um, we also have a couple of scares uh, due to how Eli controls Robbie's body. Um, but ultimately we get to see um, just some great storytelling with some cool, you know, fight scenes to boot. And what I mean by um, the great storytelling is that we really get a chance to find out who this guy is, who his brother is, and what his brother means to him. And uh, that's a thread that goes along from, se- from not season one, from issue one all the way to issue 12. And it's, um, it's really, really, really dope. Um, I originally picked this up for Felipe Smith, but I stayed hooked because of the artwork, because of the, you know, the storyline, uh, and also because of the supernatural element, which I'm really, really, you know, into. Um, so if you're looking for something that's, you know, a fresh take on a character, um, and you haven't picked up all new Ghost Rider yet, I definitely think you should check it out, especially if you haven't read Ghost Rider before. It'll give you a fresh take on superheroes in general, especially if you're already kind of predisposed to liking supernatural content. Um, Now, of course, this unfortunately doesn't go super deep into the supernatural, but it does give you enough to let you know that further on we will be dealing with, you know, some supernatural elements. So I got to give this a thumbs up, man. Uh, All in all, I give this series from 1 to 12 or 13 issues, whatever it is, I give it a B, um, a strong B though, you know, just because I didn't give it an A doesn't mean that it sucks, like it's definitely dope, Um, like I, you know, I was just impressed by the artwork, I was impressed by the storyline, the the brother, the, you know, the content between the brothers was really, really uh, impressive to me, so I loved it, Um, I think you should pick it up. Big shout out to Felipe Smith, Trab Moore, Damian Scott, uh, Chris Anka, all the colorists that, you know, did some amazing work on this. Um, it's really, really impressive. So if you're liking it, if you're feeling it, go out, pick it up, you know, pick up, you know, volume one, see how you feel. And of course, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.